Today, I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know about the newest map, Bucket Mayhem. So if you don't know, there is a new map that has released that is Bucket Mayhem. It's right there. And basically, there's a bunch of Squidwards with Chum Bucket hats, and they're all zombies. And if you get touched by one, you turn into one. And then if you touch three other people who aren't zombies, you get saved. You guys have probably played it, okay? So I'm going to hop in and show you guys. There are so many glitches in this map. I mean, there's glitches to never get touched. There's glitches to go out of the map. There's multiple ways to go out of the map. You can go inside of some areas that you shouldn't be able to go inside of, which basically makes you invincible. And there's so much to go over that I'm just going to hop in and play with some people from chat so that they can help me explain all of these crazy glitches. Okay, so let's hop right into it. I'm not going to lie. This is probably the most fun game mode that's been released in a long time. And the first glitch I'm showing you since I spawned over here is in this banner, you can actually clip through it. So ready? If you jump right here and dive... Oh. If you jump right here and dive through, I can clip through and look at me. I'm on the other side. Now, what I will say is if you walk too far left, too far right, or too far like this way, you will fall off the map just like that. So there's also a glitch to get out of the map. What you're going to do is you're going to get up here. You're going to jump down, slide off this, jump into the jellyfish, and then jump over and look. Hey. I'm walking down to frickin' Patrick's house, baby. Quite frankly, I'm tired of being a zombie. I'm going home. <laughs> this is a really insane trick to hit. But the only downside is if you're a human and you miss this trick and you fall down, you're going to turn into a zombie. Now, here's a sneak peek into the next glitch. You see this guy spatulating me somehow inside of the bleachers? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, now let me show you guys another few strats that I've seen. I know I was going to show you guys how to get in bleachers, but let me show you some other tricks that I think are pretty cool. So one of these tricks, if you have ball, you can ball on here, jump over here, and you can make it to this platform. Now be wary, this only works on bots, okay? If there's a real player, they can make that jump just as Squidward. If you're really good though, you could time it to where you smack them back. And then they have to redo all the crates. And by then, you got your spatula to smack them back again. But if you're just bursting bots, you're, you're literally invincible. Now, another spot just like this that I uh, unfortunately did not get on. Oh, my gosh! Uh, unlucky. I died. So another place that bots can't get to is the speaker. Now, this is a very obvious place that you've probably seen before. But if you're standing here, no zombies can get to you. The only fear is that the zombies might jump on top of the other zombies' heads. But if you're scared of that, just constantly spam E or whatever your spatula keybind is. But keep in mind, real players can very easily get to you. So one last trick that's pretty fun is that if you're playing with only bots, they actually can't get to you if you're in a Krabby Patty car. It's literally impossible. Now, this real player obviously could dome me. But the bots, they don't know how to. Let me get some bots over here, reel them in with my tempting flesh i don't do they eat flesh and look they can't get to me they're you know it, you can get your homies one homie in that car one homie in that car one homie in my car right you know you can get all, all your homies and just chill okay let me show you guys now the most insane trick which is how to get in the bleachers so what you're gonna do is freaking brute force it until it works the most overpowered strat which is simply just diving into the bleachers so you're gonna run forward so you're gonna run forward. So you're gonna run forward. Oh, that's close. So you're gonna run forward. 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 What the freak was that? So you're forward. 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 Get the freak out! So you're gonna run forward and dive through just like that. And then you're in the bleachers and nobody can get to you. And the beautiful thing about this too, is if zombies try to get to you, you can smack them with your spatula. Watch. If any zombie gets close, ready? Smack. They, they can see my name, sure. I don't have any camouflage, right? But if they want to get in and try to do the clip like I did, I can just consistently smack them away with the spatula. And I guarantee if you hit this, you'll win every single time. The only downside, however, is you cannot leave. And if you can, it's very hard. And to get in here in the first place is pretty difficult. Now what's cool is I got my buddy S'more Hack in here, and we're invincible. We could go to time if we wanted to. Now I don't know how useful that is if you're playing for the win, but it's kind of cool just to flex on people like, yeah, I did zombies and I never lost with my buddy. 
Okay, now I'm gonna be stuck in here for the next six minutes, so I'm probably just gonna alt that for my game. If you want to just flex on people, another thing you can do is you can go to this and you can jump up here and chill on the coral. Be careful though, it's a it's some slippery coral. So I'll show you once again a little bit better. Jump up here. Oh my frick. Jump up here, you jump up on here, and then boom, you're chilling in the coral tree. Just probably don't panic whenever you get there like I do. <laughs> As I win right now, some general tips I'll show you guys is one, Squidwards are faster than you. The zombies are naturally faster than you. So you gotta be careful of that. You gotta have tricky movement, and if they dive for you, you gotta mix them up so that they dive past you, and then they have to recover. And then the other thing is Squidward zombies also can't use emotes. So use volleyball, use kick, use whatever you can to get that upper hand, because they can't use emotes, but hey, you can. Okay, now something that was just brought to my attention is Bucket Mayhem is now three rounds straight of zombies. Okay, first round, let's get into it. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to do one of the first strats that uh, I showed you guys, which is getting on that pole. All right, this shark wants to freaking mess around. Okay, then, shark, let's mess around, then. Let's tussle, bro. He was not about it. To ensure my victory, I will go up here. Oh, no! Boop! Knock the SpongeBob off. Screw that SpongeBob. Okay, hey, let's go. Let's go. Okie doke, second round. I'm gonna try to get a little bit cheesy, okay? If I'm allowed to. These players really like to smack me around. But I'm gonna try to go behind this poster. Did they fix it, bro? Okay. Okay, I'm back here. I have to really hope nobody sees my name and decides to spatula. Because if they do, I'm literally just dead. Get away from me. Get away from me. He's trying. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okie doke, and the last round i do enjoy sabotaging punch her smack her off with the spatula i'm comboing this mrs puff she doesn't know what to do oh 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 oh! there's a zombie mrs puff there's a zombie right there right there oh my gosh ah! stop it stop it don't go for me i need to get the freak out i need to get the freak out now i know you guys are probably thinking chase why don't you just glitch through the bleachers why don't you just do your invincibility strats because honestly, the most fun way to play this is the legit way. Because it's like playing COD Zombies, bro. It's just so much fun to run around and juke players and have better mobility. This might be a good spot. And it's me against that blue guy. So I hope that they go for that blue guy. Yes! And they didn't go for me. Let's go, baby. That is how you get a dub. I know I could have done so many more glitches to show off. But bro, at the end of the day, it's all about what you like and you having fun. Also, I almost forgot to tell you guys, if you go to the shop right now, there's a special Thanksgiving offer where if you scroll all the way right, you get this turkey skin for five gems. Now, if you don't have five gems, we need to sit down. We need to talk about it. Maybe we need to hire a financial advisor for you. But, bro, if you don't have five gems, what are you doing, man? Spin the lucky wheel once. But I'm going to claim mine. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. That, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, what do I do? Okay, how do I recover this? Don't miss out, okay? Cool skin, five gems, bro. What do you have to lose? Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment and a like if you enjoy. Ah! Thank you guys so much for watching. Ah! Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. What's happening? I can't do the outro. You guys know what I'm trying to say, okay? I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Also. Subathon. So if you want to come watch that, I guarantee you I am live right now.